The Avengers themed HasLab is imminent. It will be here in about a month, or at least we'll know what it is within a month. Also, it's about time Jordan and I do our 1000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned to the end for details on that. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host Dakota, here with my co-host Jordan, and we are talking HasLab. Now the HasLab is imminent. I think we it's safe to assume that it's going to be announced at uh, PulseCon coming up in September. So hopefully you guys are saving up your money and ready to shell out for whatever comes. I think it's safe to say everyone assumes it's going to be Giant Man. Is there, I, I think there's like a tiny possibility it's a Quinjet, but is there really any other, because it's going to be Avengers themed, we know that. Mm -hmm. Is there really yeah. anything else it could be other than Giant Man? I really don't think so. I mean, at least not something that would be popular enough to mm -hmm. be like, this is worthy of being a HasLab, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure if you dug through, you know every avenger issue ever you'd find things that would work but giant man seems to make the most sense yeah and I, it's kind of like honestly a little bit like when toy biz started doing build the figures it was like mm -hmm. we're, you know we're gonna do galactus we're gonna do a sentinel you know giant man like those are kind of some of the early like heavy hitters mm -hmm. that were like no brainers and then from there they kind of were like well, let's get more creative and what we can have you know, be something you build. So mm -hmm. I would think so. I, I guess obviously the question we'll probably get into is more the specifics, but yeah, I, I think it's probably pretty safe to say. Yeah. And that's kind of what I just wanted to get out of the way. If there was anything we could be possibly missing, leave us a comment down below. What are we missing? Is there even a chance that there's anything other than giant man or maybe a Quinjet, but I just don't see how it would be a Quinjet because it's, it would have to be too big and their vehicle failed last time. So I think they would try to go more towards figures that have worked. Like mm -hmm. you said, like Sentinel and Galactus have worked. So, you know, I, they could maybe pull something else out and do something different, but I'm putting my money on giant man. So with that or said, Mep or Mephisto. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, Mephisto does get big, so yeah, no, I just, I just don't think so. <laughs> Just everybody just likes love, to speculate. I, I just love the running joke of even in the Marvel stuff where it's like everything's Mephisto. You know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but wait, but wait. What about Mephisto? <laughs> Mephisto's behind it all. He's the... <laughs> <laughs> that scroll's not actually a scroll. It's <laughs> Mephisto. <laughs> all right. So all right. if it's going to be Giant Man, let's talk possible tiers. So we've, we've talked about this before. I'm wondering if you've kind of come up with anything else, maybe a little mm -hmm. bit more solid. Um, I think probably the most obvious tier is going to be a wasp. Right. So, and there's tons of different costumes you could pick for that. I would think they would go maybe more classic because mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's what the giant man is, is a little bit more classic, kind of like the, the toy biz one you'd mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess that's another question. Then, would do you think that Giant Man would just be like a classic looking Giant Man? I think because I would expect him to like be kind and, of the red and yeah, blues, yeah, with the white antennas. Yeah, I I would be surprised if they chose a different costume because like mm -hmm. you're gonna want to appeal to as many people as possible. Like you're not gonna want to get specific with like, oh, he wore this costume in 2008 right. for six issues. It's like you want something that people are going to recognize and people have their classic Avengers. They've got their Iron Man, Captain America, yeah. Thor, Hulk. They're going to want to put their giant man in that classic look with that display. Yeah. So I, I hope it is. I mean, I'd be bummed if it was like, this is the like, you know, 2015 version of his, you know, mm. where it's like slightly modernized, but not quite. It's like, yeah, just, just do the classic one, which, right. I have to imagine, like you said, they realize like that's what people want and would mm -hmm. probably get the most interest. So, and that's I guess that 
this is a HasLab. We're kind of jumping around here, but this is a HasLab that I'm worried about because there's definitely possibility that I'm safe and I don't need to worry about my money here. But if it's a classic with the right price tag and the right size, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the other thing we've talked about. Would it be like what the exact size would be? Because I think I, I mean, I've been saying that like so many times and I hope Hasbro hears it from either me or somebody else, but <laughs> we don't need a Galactus sized giant man. I don't, if it's that big, I don't want it. I have no use for it because mm -hmm. even Galactus is hard to display being so big. Like you've got your six inch figures and like it's, it's impressive to have one figure that stands way bigger than everybody else, but that's Galactus. Like Galactus is coming to eat your planet. I want him to be that mm -hmm. big. I want him to be bigger than my giant man. I would rather mm -hmm. they just update a 12 inch giant man. Like mm -hmm. if I'm displaying like a 12 inch figure, that's pretty giant still. Like yeah, he's towering over everyone and it's going to display better. I can put them on a shelf with the other Avengers around, like flying over yeah. his shoulder. Like that's so much easier. Well, it, it like use. would defeat your Galactus display too. If mm -hmm. you're like the Avengers versus Galactus and giant man is as big as Galactus. Exactly. Like, Wait. <laughs> yeah. That, that should never really happen. Like I don't want Galactus and giant man to be eye to eye. And obviously like they have to, for scale's sake, downscale Galactus a bit, but still like mm -hmm. once you set, like this is what we're going to be doing Galactus as, mm -hmm. it wouldn't make sense to then be like, well, giant man too, you know? And then it's like, right. Uh, yeah. And, and they, they, I'm sure they thought about like the practicality of making a scale of Giant Man that's like gonna fit mm -hmm. easier in your displays because, like you said, like Galactus is cool. It's just tough, to, <laughs> tough to display a figure that big. So right, and that's another thing I've been saying too is like you can't have like Galactus is pretty much a statement piece. The Sentinel mm -hmm. is a statement piece. Those are huge. And if you're collecting Transformers, Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, if you're collecting He-Man and Thundercats, every single one of those lines has these giant statement pieces that they try to keep pushing out. At some point, you can only have so many three-foot-tall action mm -hmm. figures or dioramas, castles, things like that, before you've just you've, you've gotten your money from your fans, but you can't get any more because they don't have the space for it and they can't collect what you're trying to sell them if you yeah. kind of vary the sizes like i've said like give me a 12 inch giant man i can collect those if you had made sentinel 12 inches i'll take three yeah so you know i i don't know i'm sure they think about that too of like we can sell more of these at a lower price but then you got to sell right. more to you know it's but yeah, there's that logistical element of even as a collector, if you're like, I really want that, but you don't have space for it. I mean, that's a real mm -hmm. factor to consider. Yeah, and I guess what do they care if you if I have to sell my Galactus to fit my Giant Man? They're like, I've already gotten the money from these collectors. If whatever they do after that it doesn't really matter as long as they're still buying the next thing. Mm -hmm. But I just have a hard time. Like, is anybody going to sell their Galactus to then put in a Giant Man? Because I still think that Toy Biz one holds up pretty well. It could use like better articulation and stuff. Like it's mm -hmm. pretty old, a little floppy in the joints sometimes. But it's the right size and it displays well. So yeah. if they make Giant Man the size of Galactus, totally out. I have no interest not buying it. If they make him 12 inches or even like you can bump him up a little bit, that's fine. Yeah. But it's got to be a reasonable size. Well, and that'd probably make them cheaper to make them yeah, smaller. Yeah, I would hope. Yeah. I mean, and what do you think that would cost? Like if they say, made that's him, something we could speculate on, too. Is I think maybe 12 inches is maybe too small because you've got Super Adaptoid. But also, like, if Super Adaptoid is just, like, mimicking Giant Man and that's what he grew to, I'm fine with that. Like, Super Adaptoid and Giant Man can be eye-to-eye -eye when they fight. That doesn't bother me. Would there be any world where they do, like, tiers... One tier is like a different scaled giant man. Like you have like the biggest one as the main prize, and then like one of the tiers is like a smaller, mm. more in that vein of like just being like a, you know, yeah. you could scale it. I don't know. Because I think Galactus be is much, like 36 inches, 32 inches. So. 
and then so if you made like your big giant man 24 inches two feet tall Mm -hmm. which i still think is too big but if that was your big one and then you made a 12 inch i don't know yeah i mean that just seems like that's a huge tier when their tiers are usually like that's true like if it's gi joe then it's like effect pieces or if it's marvel legends usually it's i mean they've they've done just like an alternate head so (laughs) all right i don't need an alternate head for my yeah yeah go ahead talk tears then yeah let's talk tears okay so we talked about a wasp wasp makes sense Mm -hmm. uh we'd spoken a little bit about jarvis idea i don't know if he would play into a giant man just as like uh yeah you know like when else are you gonna squeeze in a jarvis have him come with a vacuum cleaner Um, i think that would be amazing i don't really even want it but i want it to happen (laughs) well to me that would be like remember when you were like oh the the doom head for galactus Mm -hmm. where it's like like very specific fans will want it but like Mm -hmm. i think with jarvis it has that sense but it's also more practical or more desirable Mm -hmm. than like what the doom head was so yeah i could see jarvis i could see wasp Maybe a yellow jacket? I've got my yellow jacket for sale right now in anticipation for this HasLab. <laughs> yeah. So I, we could use one because I really like that yellow jacket, but he's got the ball joints and all that. So he's definitely yeah. due for an update. And I think even if he doesn't come with this HasLab, and this will be a, probably a future episode too of like us speculating on the market of what you should sell and what you should keep, I think yeah. yellow jacket is bound for a update within oh, the yeah. next year or two. <clears throat> oh, i could see that so i th- i know we had talked didn't we like uh how they did the galactus doomsday head to do a right. bigger ultron head oh. because i know there was again it's like one of those specific issues where ultron kind of has that like giant man type of right. look so okay i think that would be kind of cool I mean, not like I, n- I never would really display it that way, but it would make sense to put with your army built Ultron army. So, yeah. Would they do like an unmasked like Hank Pym head? Maybe. I wouldn't. I don't know. I, I would I would probably lean more towards like just a regular lab coat type Hank Pym because we've got okay. that one coming in the five pack. That's more of the jumpsuit sure. look, but we don't have like a like the Bruce Scientist Banner. Hank Pym, yeah. Yeah. And I mean that could kind of go well with your Bruce Banner, where you could have them in a lab working together, get kind of all your smart folks with your lab coat, Mister Fantastic, Bruce Banner, now a Hank Pym. Oh, my idea! Remember, was the uh, Cylinder Ultron? Yep. Is that like the Model One or something like that? I can't yeah. remember which version, first but yeah. <laughs> I I'd love see that. Them. That to me would be. If they packed it with like yeah, Jarvis that. Even Yellow Jacket, I'd be like, yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. That it, one might be out there, but I think it, it would it would work in the yeah, sense of, like, it's just, obviously yeah. he created Ultron, so. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like know, we maybe. just have so many of these, like, out there ideas that it's hard to, like, <laughs> because it, with the Engine of Vengeance, you had Madeline Pryor, which didn't make a ton of sense, but I think was at least a popular enough you had Mephisto, yeah. which was like super popular, and then you had Damien Hellstrom, which was, you know, not not like a yeah. Galactus head type of like offshoot. Mm-hmm. I feel like the Ultron head is like the Galactus head. I think Jarvis makes sense. Wasp is like almost a for sure. Well, and yeah, know. you have to wonder how their strategy, like, remember with the Robbie Reyes, was like. Mm-hmm. the whole early bird fiasco so yeah like i, I wonder I, if they'll even retool like the way they approach the tiers in some ways i don't know i mean so far i, I would i'm gonna assume that that early bird thing is gone i think they probably are like yeah that didn't work out so well last time <laughs> um but i mean also if they price it better or at least make your early bird like better <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah um, early bird engine of <laughs> we got all these laying around that's I, yeah i think if, if they would change up the way they did the early bird like if it was if you purchase within the first week you get this thing regardless of if it you know funds later it doesn't have to fund mm. but as long as you were one of the first ones to fund it 
you'll get the extra thing because then you're going to have those folks that aren't going to back out later because now they've got their extra figure or extra accessory, whatever it is. Mm, yeah. And then everybody else is like, they were late to the party. They're not going to get the thing, but then it is kind of hard to like, then you're going to have to package up two separate right. things unless you just like sent it as like, Oh, here's your figure. Just uh, set, not a part of that same box. Um, yeah, but, I can see that being a more logistical problem, though. Right. And then they've also done with the G.I. Joe that's running now. They have all their tiers, like, from day one. Or was it maybe it was Star Wars that did this and not G.I. Joe? Maybe they both did. I don't know. No, I think it was both. Whatever. They just showed everything. That's They're what like, I'm he- saying. Here's what it is. Here's your unlock tiers. These are the goals you have to meet. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. Whereas with the Engine of Vengeance, it was very clear that they were like, oh, Mephisto's at this unlock. Actually, this one's before that. And actually, this one's even before that. Where that was clearly like a scramble to like, Mephisto was supposed to be unlock number one. But then they were so desperate, they made him unlock number three. I don't know that we would get that again. And this is kind of, you know, Hasbro, if you're listening, tune out right now. Don't listen to this part. I would think if the collector community as a whole could band together Mm -hmm. to recreate that engine of vengeance scenario for something they actually want you could get your tiers bumped down versus if everybody goes crazy on day one they're going to push those tiers out like they're going to like take the data like if they don't show it all on day one they're going to take the like excitement and be like okay we're making this much right now we expect it's going to do this well because we've already sold whatever ten thousand units Whereas if instead we were like, oh, we like this, but we're not going to buy it until we see the tiers or whatever, and they haven't hit their their backing goal, and there's only seven week, or seven days left, they're going to show all those tiers, and they're going to be at a lower like tier yeah. threshold. I don't think the yeah. collectors can like band together like that. But if we could, I think that would be pretty easy. to. If there was some know. show on the internet that people could listen to and tell them to band together that'd be great yeah it's just i don't know it's some guys you know um (laughs) yeah i i do you think they would do it this time with like here are the tiers and here's what the goals are going to be at the beginning i don't know it's i think it, it seems like with what they're putting out now they've kind of felt the effects of trying to jack up the prices and like squeeze every last dollar out of their collectors that they can because it i don't think it's worked like everybody's now waiting for things to go on clearance because everything goes there they're not buying the engine of vengeance because it's overpriced not worth the money i would think they would probably adjust now to hopefully a smaller scale figure with a cheaper price point because like with power rangers power rangers kind of has and uh transformers and power rangers both have had smaller has labs where they start with like the big one and then it's like oh now we're going down to something more reasonable and it's like within the hundred dollars like maybe 175 180 something like that it's like if that's what giant man's gonna cost me i'm good with that so i would hope that they've i mean and we've talked with the marvel knights wave they're putting in more accessories for the same price Mm -hmm. so and their two packs have been like usually a build a figure that would usually cost fifty dollars with a regular figure that costs twenty five and it's costing us, you know, sixty. So I think and that Deadpool two pack, the Shield Agent, Hydra Agent two packs, those I think have been pretty fair priced. Yeah. So if they continue that kind of thought process into a Haslab, I don't know. It's just hard to like after failing on the engine of vengeance so bad mm-hmm. are they gonna you know come out like looking big with here's all your tiers you got to hit these points and then they're not gonna because if you don't unlock all those tiers you're gonna have people dropping out and then it maybe doesn't even get funded because like yeah. do you want because they've, they've they've already got that all figured out with like their pricing structure of here's our offering we're gonna have these figures in it and it's gonna cost us this much to make mm-hmm so then if we don't if we only unlock giant man or whatever it is they're essentially just saving money by not having to just make those other figures they wouldn't have had that yeah that right sense. so yeah i, I think know. a big thing too it'll be what is offered 
it would factor mm-hmm. into yeah what the price would be because like depending on the scale of him mm-hmm. I mean I hope it's not like a three hundred dollar Haslab or something but I don't know yeah you think that's very real possibility I mean it, it, it's hard what because was Galactus again he was Galactus was four hundred but didn't they say was... if they would have done him today he'd be like five hundred or... yeah yep. So yeah, after taxes and everything, Galactus was like 420. Um, and yeah, if I don't know, like I just I can't believe that that's actually true. Like Galactus would cost an extra hundred dollars a year later, like two years later. That that math doesn't seem to add up <laughs> to me. I don't know. That's that's kind of and I, I, we were actually wrong on our. Um, shield and Hydra two pack. I had thought that mm-hmm. the shield, like the two dudes, was fifty bucks. But I saw somebody posted in the groups. I think it was only like thirty six. Yeah, thirty six. Yeah. yeah. So even that has wasn't that long ago. Right. So that's kind of that. Like inflation is like, and I don't know. You get some of those people that think they're economists in the facebook groups comments i mean if it's like a 400 dollar giant man i think that will put off a lot of people to be like Mm -hmm. no way (laughs) like i don't know it's uh, it's just hard i think to get the average collector to justify dropping that much on like a single Mm -hmm. even if there's tears but with no promise of tears it's like I think that was kind of the engine of engines thing was like, I don't know if I want to mm-hmm. invest in just this. Like if I'm getting the other stuff that might convince mm-hmm. me, but so like, I'm, I'd be very curious what their like marketing, uh, mm-hmm. like rollout is going to be. Because even a lot of the tiers that we've talked about and giant man himself, like there's not really a lot of accessories to even come with that. Cause yeah. like giant man's not going to come with anything wasp. Like maybe you get some sting effects alternate hands jarvis vacuum cleaner i don't feel like you really need anything else for him that cylinder ultron maybe a crackle effect so they can already have this pretty light and it still makes sense because i would i would assume like his hands will be articulated so you're not going to need like alternate hands there but yeah i don't know the super adaptoid is 12 inches and if i'm wanting a 12 inch giant man are they gonna what was super adaptoid like 50 bucks or something 60 50 yeah. i think 50 55 maybe whatever it was I think it's flat. around there because i think we were expecting it to be like i mean you really have to justify like if you're gonna even have yeah like you really need to justify the price tag Mm-hmm. on that just because it's like it is kind of like even with galactus like the heralds made way mm-hmm. more sense because it's like they're heralds and they're kind of more unique and like mm-hmm. it fits where giant man i think the trouble is like what do you obviously pack with giant man to like mm-hmm. boost the value and right i'm i'm also interested to see i'd be curious to hear in the comments what people think should be tears because I'm kind of like struggling to think of anything else that yeah. would make sense. I don't know. I mean, I could see like if we kind of switch gears to be more like instead of just giant man focused, if we made it like Avengers focused, like giant yeah. man is your big figure and then you're going to get packed in with like a first appearance type Thor, like a classic looking Captain America with butterfly joints that's pinless and then uh like the model one iron man that just came out but in gold mm. like then now we're making a little bit more sense with like kind of like yeah, you said with galactus coming with heralds versus but even with the engine of vengeance like those were like ghost rider adjacent right mm-hmm. it wasn't like just i don't know i guess i hadn't read the robbie reyes comics none of those I figures or none of those characters yeah. are in it so it was just like these are like mm-hmm hell-ish figures so right yeah maybe with giant man you could get away with it having those kind of things like a gold iron man i could see people wanting that Mm -hmm. i mean i think Um, everybody kind of knows that's coming but i could see them just like putting that behind a has lab because then you still get your model one iron man 
and if you really want it, you can just paint it gold mm -hmm. but then you have something special even though it's like but they, they've totally done like a re-release like that silver surfer that came with galactus was just mm -hmm. the walgreens silver surfer but a different color so mm -hmm. there's your iron man just a different color that makes sense from their standpoint to mm -hmm. be like we just got this figure let's just paint them and then put them yeah. in and, and it, it would kind of fit though because if you have a classic giant man you got like a classic iron man mm -hmm. maybe the cap thing i hadn't thought of that because this 20th cap has pins and it doesn't have butterfly right. joints so and i could see him you could repaint that first appearance gray hulk green yeah kind of more of that smoother look blockier head hmm. so maybe it's going to be more avengers themed and not so giant man themed now that i'm thinking about it. i i don't think so yeah but I, that would just be cooler like i would rather have because galactus came with him three heralds and a head so if you did mm -hmm. so that's technically five figures if you could get a five pack of avengers giant man iron man cap wasp i would probably say thor i would rather it be hulk but probably thor or maybe you would switch out cap for thor and then that's your or wait was thor the founding yeah he was yeah just like the original ones would be yeah. Yeah, wasp iron man thor it technically ant man i guess but you know same guy yeah and then hulk mm -hmm. so i i think that would be kind of cooler because I, I could imagine that box being like kind of that issue where they're kind of standing he's got his arm mm -hmm. up with wasp flying off of it i think that would be a cooler display piece yeah so as long as, long as jarvis is in there I mean. <laughs> maybe jarvis will be a single release later he'll be That's on true. the because don't they have like a retro West Coast Avengers card? Put him on that. That's true. Who so. knows? And then for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, we've kind of passed 1,000 a while ago, but our prize is still not even going to be here until September. So one of them. One of the, the prizes. This is a this is a choose. You can choose either your Spider-Man three pack from No Way Home. That one is in hand. You so if you win that one, you can get it right away. Uh, the second option is the gold label McFarlane DC Multiverse 89 Batman and Batmobile. That one is on pre-order, so again, that one is, you know, hopefully that comes. Last time Jordan ordered a Batmobile, it got canceled, uh, but he's got an extra on pre-order to on right now. So, fingers crossed it comes. Um, so those are your two options of things to win. In order to win, uh, make sure you're subscribed, and then you're going to have to leave a comment of what you think the next HasLab should be. So... We're saying this one is Giant Man. What should the next one be? Fin Fang Foom, Apocalypse, Eternity. What do you think? Um, and then if you choose, like if you are the winner and you choose the Batman Batmobile, you'll have to wait until Jordan actually gets that in hand. Um, but if, like I said, if you choose the Spider-Man 3-pack, he can send that out right away. Um, so this is going to run for one week, seven days from the posting of this episode. You have that much time to get in your um, comments. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, and then we'll do that drawing after. And I'll compile them all. We'll do the wheel and the and giveaway. free shipping in the yes. continental U.S. Yes. If you live outside of the U.S., you will have to cover shipping. Um, but if you're within the States, we'll take care of the shipping for you. So, um, yeah. I think that wraps it up for this episode. Make sure you're entering the giveaway. Um, also, I mean, in addition to that comment, also answer our questions before, like, what do you think for this HasLab with Giant Man? Do you think it's actually going to be Giant Man? Is there something we're missing that could be Avengers related? What are the tiers going to be? What do you think the price is going to be? That's going to be probably the biggest factor for a lot of people in purchasing this. But make sure you're liking, sharing, subscribing, entering that giveaway, and stay strong.